Hello and welcome to this tutorial. This video is intended to be the first in a series of videos to help people who are newer to the editing process or maybe don't understand all the technical intricacies to help get those people up and running and working with these really cool tools that we have that are just a bit difficult to set up. In any case, I'm keeping it simple for the first episode. There'll be no cinematics in this one, just the basic tools you need to get up and running and recording in really high quality. So these tools are, Luina is the core one really. AVI Recorder helps make the workflow a lot more efficient and Lagareth Codec helps with efficiency as well. So I'm going to walk you through all three of those. In any case, you're going to want to start by going to these links, download these all, and get them installed. Once you've got those things installed, come back to the video and we'll continue on. All right, now that we've got these three things installed, we're going to go open up Lawina. I've got it here in my folder. It's not super organized, but whatever. I'm going to open it up. Just going to close out of that. All right. So we've got our Loena up and running. Now, things you need to know just to get set up is one, make sure you're recording to your TF2 folder. It'll be under something like this file path. So C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, TF. So make sure you find your TF directory and make that this folder. Second thing you really need to know is to set this recording folder or movie folder. This has to be somewhere within the TF folder that we just mentioned. This process will not work if whatever subfolder you're recording to is not under the TF folder. I'm just going to open this up in my Explorer so you can see. Um, give me a sec. This is also how you get to the TF folder. So here it is within my Team Fortress 2 folder. I've opened it up and I just made a new folder and called it Lowena Rex for Lowena Recordings. This will be my the folder that Lowena outputs files to. And you want to set it as such. Mine's already set because I've had it set up previously. Um, let's talk a little bit about the settings. I won't go into too much detail since it's a lot of it is just personal preference. You can set whatever HUD you want. If you want to do a custom HUD, like I have OMP HUD installed. If I want to do that, I would just select tick this box on. Um, I've got casting essentials on. We'll cover installing that and working with that in a later video. Um, I've got my frame rate here. Just lots of options. All right, so now that we've gone over that for a little bit, let's go ahead and open up your AVI recorder. So mine's already set up, but I'll walk you through it again. Just make sure you've got the right game and the right user. Um, your recording settings. So what we're going to do with AVI Recorder is that AVI Recorder is going to take the output from Lowena. So this TGA folder should be your Lowena output folder that we set up earlier. AVI Recorder is going to take those that output from Lowena, those TGA files. You got to make sure this is a frame output in Lowena is on TGA. It's going to take those TGA files and turn them into a 
an AVI file, so a video file. Um, I've just made a folder for those specifically. As far as I know, it doesn't really matter where you put these. Just somewhere you, where you can find it easily. But one other thing is that you want to be your video codec to be Lagerith here. So once you have Lagerith installed, it should show up here. You can just hit select it and hit OK. One other thing is you want to make sure your frame rate here matches whatever you want to record with in Loina, or else it'll look weird. Um, so just make sure it matches. I'm just going to do 60 frames per second for now. I like I keep these ticked on and hit OK. Now the one other important thing is that this box is ticked by default. You don't want it ticked. Once you've got your settings where you want them, we can start the recording process. Now, the first step is hit Start Recording here in AVI Recorder. This th thing will show up as red, and you'll also see it down here in your little taskbar. So hit Start Recording, and hit Start Team Fortress 2 in Loena. All right, and now we're in the game. Um, one useful tip is that the binds for Loina show up in your console. Um, if you don't know what the console is or how to get it, let me show you real quick. Just go to, not this menu, this options, advanced, and hit enable developer console, apply, and then you'll be able to hit your tilde key to bring this up. Anyways, let's jump in and record a demo. So to open up a demo, you want to type a demo and then the name of your demo in console. If you have stuff in your folder for demos, this list should auto-populate with a bunch of things. You can hit your arrow keys to scroll down and up. Uh, I'm just going to pick a random one. It doesn't really matter for these purposes. And we're going to load in. Now I want to record some actual gameplay and not just warm up, so I'm going to open my demo UI with Shift and F2. I've got a job for you, soldier. Make me proud. Wow, hold on. That's better. So I'll open my demo UI and skip ahead to maybe tick 30,000. Alright, that's still not in the game. 60,000. There we go. As you can see, the Luna quality configs are making the game look really nice. Anyway, so when you want to record, you'll hit P. So I just hit P, and you might hear some audio looping, that's normal. And the game slows down, and this means it's just it's recording the game. It'll take a while, obviously. And when you decide you're done recording, just hit P again. And the recording will stop. Now, to check that this process is working properly, let's go check in on our AVI recorder. There we go. So we can see that it's showing some information for last frame processed. 
We've got a current movie that's an AVI file. It seems to be working properly. Now what we can do is go back to Lowena. Whenever you close the game after using Lowena, make sure you're closing it using this button or else it'll mess up your configs. So hit stop Team Fortress 2. This will safely close TF2. I'm going to wait a sec for that. And TF2 is finished running. All files are stored. Now we hit stop recording here as well. Boop. Now we should be able to go to this folder, which I've labeled as C ABI rec output C drive and see our ABI file. Just gonna open this up. And there it is. Now, Windows doesn't really like these files. Like, this is a clip of maybe a few seconds that's like a gigabyte big. So they're huge for what they are. But you can open them up and like any editing program and it'll, they'll work just fine. Here, I'll even open up Premiere for you just to show. Uh, I'm gonna go find that file, bring it in to Timeline. And what do you know? It's a little choppy since it's such like a huge file, but it's in there and it works. And that's your basic recording process for TF2. Hope you enjoyed, and next time I will go over more advanced techniques such as smooths and using HLAE, Half-Life After Effects.